Hello, I'm Yuta Oishi. I've implemented a law prohibiting smoking on the streets in Shizuoka City. This pink flag indicates that this is a designated non-smoking area. When Yuta was a small boy, he was prone to being sick, and he had trouble coping with the passive smoke. So one day he decided to stand up for himself and acted to get the passive smoking clause put into the non-smoking law. So he went around the shop owners and got their support and collected signatures on the street and appealed to the lawmakers and the mayor and created a non-smoking law that includes passive smoking. Before this regulation went into effect, many people smoked on the streets. A handheld cigarette burnt a boy's cheek and streets were scattered with cigarette butts. I was volunteering to pick up garbage from the streets and I picked up 2,500 cigarette butts in just two hours. So how did I, just a 12-year-old boy, change the city's policies? I think it's because of lucky encounters with supportive people. Swanzo in Japanese means I want smoke. The swan is annoyed with the second-hand smoke from the elephant, so it's a pun, Swanzo. I decided to look into the harmful effects of tobacco when I was in fourth grade. I was waiting for my food at a restaurant when the guy next to me started smoking and I had the worst asthma attack. I was unable to eat any of my food. Then a question came into my mind. Why did I get such a bad asthma attack when I never smoked in my life? I decided to look into the cause. When I visited the Shizuoka Children's Hospital, I saw a poster on the wall. It said, tobacco smoke is an abuse against children. I asked the nurse to introduce me to the person who wrote this document and she introduced me to Dr. Kaji. When you walk on the streets, you sometimes feel, oh, it stinks of cigarette smoke. At that moment, the moment that you sense it stinks of smoke, well, that means you are inhaling toxic substances from the smoke. And for example, when a baby is made to inhale cigarette smoke, then it can lead to sudden death. When I found out that passive smoking is harmful to one's health, not just to asthmatics like me, I wanted to do something to eliminate passive smoking altogether. So I sent out a questionnaire about passive smoking to 16 local governments. Most of the stores were friendly about the non-smoking law, but some were not and refused to support us. There were people that were hostile, and yet Yuta didn't give up, and he kept on going. That gave me a lot of inspiration, and I was very impressed. I passionately argued for a non-smoking law at the city council and explained the health hazards of passive smoking. Then I collected a 24,000 signature petition to submit to the city. I will never forget the moment when all the lawmakers stood up for me in favour of the law. Finally, in July 2006, a regulation with penalty was put into effect. He wrote to the mayor when he was in fourth grade and made a plea for a law to prohibit passive smoking. And he continued his activities throughout the first and second year of junior high school. And his cause was legalized during the second year. He is really impressive. Yuto Oishi appealed to the city as just one citizen who wanted change. And that moved mountains. The World Health Organization gave me an award last year and I felt very honored. During that time, I came to realize that smoking is not just a Japanese issue, but an international issue. Right now, my dream is to create a website where youngsters from all over the world can exchange opinions about smoking in their country and come up with strategies to prevent smoking.